everybody. Welcome to Cooking My Way. I am Maria. Today I will be showing you all how I prepare my seared pork chops. I'm getting ready to tilt y'all down so you can see what I got going on. You ready to cook? Let's get started. Shall we? Now I am chopping up my sweet peppers. I have my frying pan over here heating up. I'm getting ready to pour in my EVOO. I already have washed my pork chops and they're over here resting. They've been resting probably about 20 minutes. So I'm going to pour some of my EVOO in my pan. I'm just using this great value or organic blend. Okay, I'm cutting up these sweet peppers so we can get this show going. How y'all doing today? I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I know I am. Any day above the ground is a beautiful day. It's another beautiful day to be alive. Let's tilt this over a little bit. This skillet right here is one of my favorite skillets. I've had it for about 20 some years and I refuse to throw it away. The handle gone, and I don't even care. It cooks so good to me. Okay, we're getting ready to lay the pork chops in. I'm pouring some of my, I'm seasoning these pork chops with some of my all-purpose seasoning. When you're searing your pork chops, you just want to put, once you put them in, you just want them to rest. Over here, I'm getting ready to saute my veggies. That's going with my pork chop. And I'm using some of my butter. Not margarine, but butter. I love my butter. I'm sauteing, like I said, the sweet peppers, I have some mushrooms, and some onions. I'm going to drop in a, a few sprigs of pine. Put another piece of pork chop in. Well, no, I'm gonna leave it because you don't want to overcrowd it. Got me a good old sweet Vidalia onion that I'm going to use. Give this onion a little, a little rinse off. Something else I wanted to tell you all, contrary to popular belief, 
You need to wash, wash off all your meats. The only meat that I don't wash off is um, my ground beef and ground turkey. But your other meats you need to wash off. Add in some garlic. Gotta have that good old garlic. Garlic. I love my garlic. So I'm just gonna chop it up a little bit. Gonna add a little bit of my all purpose over here too. A little pepper, black pepper. A little onion powder. chop a little turn but it's not quite ready. want to finish cooking and got a whole bunch of dirty dishes to clean up. So you should always clean up as you go. Hey. 
some of my all purpose on this other side. And we're just going to let that rest. We're not going to touch it because we want that real pretty. We want that real pretty seared look on our pork chops. Check on these veggies. Let's see what they got going on. I think we're going to add a little more butter to our veggies. everything along and we're going to just let everything just take its time and do what it needs to do. my pork chop and my cast iron skillet but my skillet the one my one cast iron skillet is not that big and I have some that's smaller so I'm using this other skillet in order you know so it won't take me all night to finish cooking <laughs> like I told y'all I like to get in do what I got to do and get out. I'm over here watching you look a few dishes that I have. Pork chop is searing up so pretty, y'all. Turn these veggies around a little bit, give them a or two. Oh, I wish I could smell it in the kitchen. It smells so good. I'm going to take these pieces out and I'm going to add more. I'll brown them a little bit.
got this one last piece that we're going to put in there. Oh, I wish I could smell the aroma in this kitchen. It smells so good. Just add some more time to those right there. Have it with steak, um, see, I mean, steak sauce, or you don't have to have it with anything. It's up to you what you got the taste for. I have this steak sauce that I got from Walmart, great value, it is delicious, and I think that's what we're gonna have it with. Put this top on these veggies so they can kind of sweat a little bit and they can kind of steam on, you know, go ahead and cook real soft and everything. I'm gonna make up this salad right quick. Go ahead and put up some tomatoes up on this salad. Purple onion. Why it's called purple, I don't know. I'm sorry, I call it purple. 
but it's called red onion. Why is it called red onion when it's purple? When y'all figure that out, let me know, because I still haven't figured it out yet. Cut some cucumbers up on this salad. Let's turn this pork chop. Chop. So we're going to add uh, some more seasoning on this side. Okay. Now, we're going to get a spoonful of these veggies. We're going to add a little black pepper to our salad. this plate here and we're going to be finished now in this jar I have some whole homemade ranch I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish up I made it for myself and one day I'll show you all how I make it but the homemade ranch is so much better There you have it. Pork chops, salad, and some sauteed veggies. Y'all have some. I'm willing to share. Okay, y'all. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and share. I appreciate you all, and y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Love y'all. Bye.